Hello, it's Grandma. And today was a beautiful day. I hope you're outside. I'm sure you were. It's gorgeous. We were too. So today I'm going to try something a little bit different. Instead of reading a story, I'm going to tell a story. So we'll see how this goes. And I have a little prop here. This is a sailboat. It's a toy sailboat. And Grandma actually found this. It washed up on the shore by your great grandma and grandpa's house down at the beach, at the shore. And I found it and don't know who it belonged to, but it reminded me of a story. So I've used it telling the story at church and in my classes at school. So I'm gonna tell you the story today too. I think it's a good one for this time of year. So this is a sailboat. It's a sunfish, which you can kind of see from this. And a real one is bigger, of course. Grandpa has actually sailed on a sailboat like this. And Grandma, had, I think, has taken a ride on one like this. So this is the sailboat that reminds me of the story that I'm going to tell. It's a story about a little boy who made a sailboat. I like to think it looks like this. I don't know. But he built the sailboat all by himself. He worked really hard. He did a really good job. And he made the sailboat. And he used to sail it in his brook that ran behind his house, not too far from his house. Um, and he used to sail it back and forth in the river. It was in the brook. It wasn't very, uh, a lot of water. But one day when he was sailing it, it got really windy and the brook filled with a lot of water. And before he knew it, the sailboat took off and it got away from him. He couldn't find it. And he was very, very sad and heartbroken because he had put a lot of time and energy and he loved the sailboat that he made. Well, time went on and wouldn't you know, one day when he was in town, he saw, he passed a toy store and in the toy store window was his sailboat. And he recognized it. He knew it was his because he had made it. So he knew it was his. But he went into the, and the but the owner of the, toy store <clears throat> said no that was in the window and if he wanted it he would have to buy it well the little boy was very upset so he went home and checked his piggy bank and he didn't have enough money to buy the sailboat but he wanted his sailboat back so badly so he did chores around the house he helped his mom he did things in the yard and helped his dad and he earned some money and little by little he saved it and he was able to save enough money to go and get the sailboat. So with his, pay, with his bank and all and his money that he had, had saved, he went down to the toy store, counted out the money, he had enough, and he bought the sailboat and was able to take it home. He was thrilled, he was so happy. So he happily sailed his boat again on that little brook very carefully so it wouldn't get lost. And he said, now the sailboat is really, really mine. It's doubly mine. It's twice mine because I made it and I bought it. So it's twice mine. That kind of reminds me at this time of year about Jesus because Jesus made us and then he bought us. We were lost too, but he bought us. He bought us back with his blood. So we're doubly bought or twice owned by Jesus because he made us and then he bought us. So it's a special thing to remember around this time of year, around Easter. So whenever I see the sailboat, I kind of think of that story. It kind of makes me smile because I know that Jesus not only made me, he bought me too. He loved me that much and he loves you that much too. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. It was kind of different today with me telling one instead of reading it. But I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. We'll be back tomorrow with another one. Mm. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>